from a Dawa perspective, the vital importance of grasping the reasons for the madhab is that if, for example, um, one, uh, a male, touches a female, his own wife, according to the Shafi'i madhab, school of Islamic law, he has no wudu. And according to the Hanafi school, he does have wudu. So we have a problem here. If differences, because basically I was taught initially that you, all the madhabs are correct, and doesn't matter which one you follow, you know, it's like a path to paradise, you just follow one, make sure you follow one, otherwise your imam becomes Satan, right? Um, Accepting the, that all of them are correct, you have a, a logical uh, issue in that logically it is not possible to have wudu and not have wudu at the same time. This is something not logically possible. So, I, so the idea that you would accept that both the Shafi'i and Hanafi schools of Islamic law are both correct on this issue. This requires turning off your logic. Similar to the Christian turning off his or her logic when they're given the issue that God is three in one, that one plus one plus one equals one. That requires turning off reason and just blindly accepting. So in that sense, the uh, madhab in this way, if one accepts it in this way, they're all correct. You just have to follow one. Basically, you are falling into that same trap of a blind belief, which goes against logic and reason which God had given you. Love.